The Adobe Bridge is a digital assets management application that you can leave open independently of any of the Creative Suite applications. It's a great way to organize the images and files on your computer. And you can even, as you see here, go to the Adobe Stock Photos website to find images that are perfect for the job at hand. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. First of all, I'll click on my desktop and I will click on the folder to show you that I have some uh, images in here called Washington Trip. So I'll double click on this and it shows me all the images in that folder and other files. So I have a PDF file and I have an EPS file as well as all these JPEGs. I'm going to talk about how to sort them and how to manage them in the next part of this lesson. I just want to spend some time here talking about the interface and the things you can do inside of the bridge. So once again, you can either find a location using the favorites panel or you can go to a folder on your computer and when you find that folder on your computer you can see the contents located in the content panel. You also have these dividers here and what you can do with these is either double click on them or click and drag to close things. So if I don't want to see this side of the interface I can double click and that snaps closed and everything else will resize automatically. So I can double click again and open that back up. Likewise, I also have a set of workspaces that I can select from. I can go to the window menu, choose workspace, and then choose whatever it is that I'm trying to deal with. So if I want to deal with the light table or I want to deal with the metadata, I can choose one of these. Let's go ahead and choose metadata focus and we'll see that the panels will rearrange themselves and now my images show me all of the associated metadata that come with this file. And that is a great way to work as well if you really want to see the metadata in your images. Likewise, I can always go back to a different workspace. So I'll go back to default for now and everything will snap back into place. If I click on an image that's sideways like so, I have tools up here that allow me to rotate counterclockwise as well as clockwise. Now don't worry, this does not do anything at all to the pixels. It simply writes code in the metadata telling the bridge how to display this image. So it's really, really handy as well. I can also click this button to go to compact mode as well as full screen mode. Now you'll notice that when I click on the thumbnail, I can see that image here in the preview. The thumbnails are often jaggedy and just show you a quick thumbnail as to what the real image looks like. And if I go ahead and scale this up like so by pulling this handle or rather this divider, I can change the size of the actual uh, preview window. So this thing will continually resize and rescale itself, which is why you see it struggling once in a while as it tries to reconfigure itself. So I can focus on my images by clicking here and then looking at them in the preview window to see what they look like. Let me just go ahead and go back to the window menu and choose workspace and default just so it can go ahead and do its thing by itself. What I can also do in the uh, bridge is I can sort things alphabetically, ascending order, descending order, and other ways, which once again I'll cover in the next part of this tutorial. Now let's talk about the way to look at your images as far as size. You can use the slider here to increase the thumbnail size. You can use these icons here to incrementally zoom in or out of the preview size. And you can also use these guys down here to jump to a quick setting of your choosing. So if you hold the mouse down, you see that we can make this one here light table. And I can make this one here go to vertical film strip. And when I click on it, it will go to that associated view that I set up. How cool is that? So we see vertical film strip, we have light table, and we have metadata focus. And once again, I can click and hold my mouse to choose which view I'd like to set to these numbers. So it's a quick way to snap back and forth to the settings that I want to see and focus on. Let me go ahead and get this back up to a full screen version here. You'll also notice, just like on a regular navigation system in your computer, I can use these menus to go back and forth in my computer. So I can go backwards to the last window I was at, I can go forward again, and I can go to the next uh, spot up so I can go up to the last location as well. So I can go up a level and work that way if I so desire. So the bridge is a very, very handy way to keep organized, to find the assets on your computer and to preview them and look at them in so many different ways that you can assign them and you can customize them to your, your heart's content. 